Are you doing everything right but can't figure out why you're so fatigued? Watch this. Our next caller is Sean from Maine. Sean, what's happening? How can we help you? Hey, guys. How are you doing? What's up? Pretty good, man. man. Awesome. So I don't know how much background you need. I'm 42 years old. Uh, I've been pretty active my whole life. Um, Just uh, recently, in the last six months, finished MAPS Anabolic. I went through that twice. Um, And right now, I'm just kind of doing my own uh, kind of short workouts every day. And what I've noticed is, and even during anabolic, we, uh, or I um, would get a couple weeks into it and I would feel incredibly like worn out. My muscles just uh, fatigued and it was really hard to kind of do anything. And I basically had to take a week to two weeks off to kind of recover. Um, And that's really been bothering me because I want to like keep moving and keep going. I don't feel like I'm doing too much volume. I'm just uh, working out at home with dumbbells and they're, you know, they're not super heavy. I'm just trying to, you know, get stronger and build some muscle mass. <laughs> yeah. So um, it is too much volume if that's how you feel. So, so it's all relative uh, and, and the context is what matters. So if you're feeling that way, even if you did one set once a week and you felt that way, it would be too much for your body. So the question is, why is it too much for your body? Um, first off, were you training with the appropriate intensity? Meaning, were you training to failure or were you following the program as it's laid out where we tell people to not to not go to failure? Yeah. So when I was running through uh, anabolic, I was following it right to the letter. So the first week or so, it took me some getting used to on uh, the appropriate weights for the appropriate volume. Um, so I kind of dialed that in and, um, you know, I, I yeah. Okay. To answer your question, yeah. Uh, he, I mean, <laughs> are you reading up there too where he talks about his, his food and sleep too would be another issue I talked about. You got to look at your lifestyle. Overall stress bucket. Because yeah. because maybe the program isn't that intense, but relative to not good sleep and a low carb diet, it may be. So yeah. that I would I would definitely dive into that. Maybe I see that you have been running a low carb diet. Is that something that you've always done or something you currently started to do? Cause you wanted to lean out. I don't respond well on too low of a carb diet. Like we've, we've shared on the podcast before. Sal loves that. It works extremely well for him. He can work out fasted. I'm miserable. If I don't have a certain amount of carbohydrates in me, I just cannot get the motivation to lift. And, I, and so, um, it does, you may be more like me in that situation. And so that may be fe- why you feel the way it is. It's not so much the program or what you're doing in the program is too much. It's just too much for what you're also doing with your diet and your sleep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would look at, I would look at your whole lifestyle, look at all the things that affect your stress, sleep, diet, stress, and see what's going on. And then I would, and then I, have you been to mphormones.com? Have you talked to any of the, the hormone specialists there to get some testing? I, I have not. I mean, I've heard you guys talk about it quite a bit on the podcast, but it's not something I've uh, dug into yet. Yeah. So when when if you get to the point where it feels unexplained, you're like, huh, I'm getting good. I feel like I'm getting good sleep. My diet seems pretty good. I seem to be training appropriately. I'm not beating myself up. My body is not feeling like it used to or like it should. That's when I would I would go get the blood work, get mm-hmm. blood work done, and see if hormones are off, if you have nutrient deficiencies that you may need to fill, um, because that that can often. I, be I would actually do that no matter what. I would do that now. You're 42. You're at an age, and you're you're at a point in your life where it's it it's worth if you have the 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 finances to go and get your blood work done. It's absolutely worth it. At least getting that okay. feedback because I guarantee you'll learn something. Well, yeah, guarantee. Then then you could see what steps you could take naturally to increase, you know, if, if it's a low dip in testosterone or whatever the imbalance is, like if you can kind of adjust like sleep, you can, you know, kind of rearrange things stress wise to see how that affects you and then like take steps from there. Yeah. I mean, I, that was me, Sean. I, I was, uh, you know, very consistent, dial everything in, I thought, you know, and I just couldn't figure out why little by little I was declining energy, my ability to, to, to exercise, work out, my, it was just going down, down, down. And then I got blood work and I was like, well, there it is right there. I had my, my hormones were, did not look good at all. And, um, you know, trying to change them naturally didn't work uh, super well, well with me. So I had to get, uh, and work with a doctor and it was game changer for me. Now that doesn't mean that that'll be your case, but at the very least you'll, you'll get a much fuller, uh, clearer picture. And if it is the case, then, then there are remedies for sure. Okay. And yeah, I mean, I've, I've definitely been working a lot on, I, I don't eat a lot of carbs, just kind of naturally, uh, add them to what you kind of said. Um, it's just, uh, I, I've been, 
cutting wheat out of my diet for like 15 plus years and just felt a, a whole lot better. We eat whole foods at home. You know, we cook all of our own stuff and, and, and make all those dinners and um, felt a ton better with that. I did get some blue light blocking glasses to kind of help with the sleep. Um, so I'm, I'm actively working on a lot of these things. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm hoping maybe, maybe it is a, you know, a low, low testosterone or something, you know, like that. I do have a stressful job and life at the moment so that could be contributing to that as well i guess i'm gonna yeah. i'm gonna have doug send you maps 15 and my recommendation is to switch over to maps 15 for a while while you get your blood work done and see what it says so see what happens when you drop down to something like maps 15 um that may be actually perfect for you i was you know mm-hmm. one of the things that we talked off air when we were building that routine i remember telling the guys like dude this is wild i'm only training 15 20 minutes a day and i actually am feeling yeah, better feel like supercharged yep. from it. yeah so let's 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 switch you over to that okay. for right now and then let's also get your your, your blood work done and see what that feedback yep. maybe the switching over to mass okay. 15 right away makes you feel I a lot like better that, that would I be like awesome that. and then i do think no matter what you feel you should get the blood work done if you're at a point in your life where i think it's worth it to at least look at your panels and see what it is. And by the way, they will assess it all for you. So you get it done. They'll do a consultation with you. They'll tell you what's good, what's not good, ways that you can improve it naturally, ways that you can do it synthetically, all those things. So it's worth cool. going through that process. Okay. All right. All right, John. Thanks for calling in. Thanks a lot, guys. I really, really appreciate your time. All right, man. You got it, yep. man. Yeah, especially when you're over 40, I think, uh, as a yeah. man uh, over 40. Because if, if your tests come back and you're like, well, I'm getting kind of, I'm getting good sleep, I'm eating right, whatever. And let's just say, for example, testosterone is so low that if you doubled it, you're still low. This is kind of a similar situation that I was in. Mm-hmm. At that point, you're like, well, I think then the, the option is to, I'm going to. I, I actually with. love the advice that mm-hmm. Katrina's mom gave all her kids. They she on their thirtieth birthday they all what she said just get a baseline she, yes she goes go get your blood work done so we have it's, and there was oh I feel fine that's yeah. why I want you to get your blood you work know what done. feeling fine should yeah. be yeah go get it done so we see what it what it's like because mm-hmm. when you get 40, 50, 60, my age she would say mm-hmm. it's not it's going to be different and you want to know what optimal feels like and what it looks like right. on paper and then you have a so reference you can replicate it yeah. so i absolutely think you should even do it earlier when you just so you have something and then it, the inevitable will happen as you turn 40 and 50 and 60 they will change it will change absolutely because of diet getting older rest all these other variables and you want to know like oh what is what does optimal feel like and then what what levers can i pull to get myself back to there totally 